The purpose of this video is to show you how to contact me if you need help with some of your programming issues. Hopefully you'll be able to work through the lessons online without too much trouble. Again, safely you can use each other as a resource. If you're working and you're sitting beside somebody and they seem to have figured out what you're trying to figure out, don't be afraid to ask. Obviously I don't want you copying each other's tasks, but uh, you can certainly help each other and get some ideas. So if you are working away on QBasic and you have a programming issue, and I'm going to set up a little example here. So I'm working away with my file and I can't get it to work and I've asked a friend and I can't solve my problem. What I would like you to do is contact me through Edsby and the best way for me to be able to help you is if you take a screenshot of the code you're working on. So in order to take a screenshot, if you look down on your keyboard you'll see an apple to the left of the spacebar. That is your command key. You'll see your shift button. Your shift button, be very clear I did say shift, and the number four. So if I hit command shift four at the same time, you'll notice my cursor changes into a crosshair. So what I can do is drag around my window, my QBasic window, and it will take a picture of what my code is. And you'll see right here that that screenshot sits on your desktop. So there it is. There's a picture of my code. So if I want to send that to me, I would go to Edsby and you can either send me a direct message by clicking on the envelope and typing in here, we'll sorry, create a new message and I'm just going to type in Kempton and there I am so I want to send myself a message I self I need some help with my code Boom, and I click on this fourth icon over. It will allow me to attach my code picture to my message. So I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to go to my last screenshot, and there it is. So I'm now sending me a message. I need some help with my code, and there it is. Now I'd rather you be specific. Uh, I can't figure out. Error on line one. Boom. And obviously the error is that I spelt print wrong. Now if you do have an error in QBasic, it will tell you there's a syntax error, and that generally means you have spelt something wrong. So it generally means a typo. So I have got all that set up. I want some help. I'm going to send it off. Upload complete. And <laughs> of course, I guess I can't send something to myself, but that's how you would do it. Make sure your attachment is there, tell me what it is you need, and you send it off. And if you're not too concerned about uh, it being a direct message, if you go back into our class, that's the wrong class, let me back out again. All right, I'm going to go to computer technology, which is the class we are currently in and you are free to post right here on the class so I can also message sample and I can share that and it shows up right here and again you can attach a picture of your code exactly like you see right there exactly like I did and this is really not a bad idea as long as you're not uh, worried about other people seeing what your question is because other students more than likely will have the same question I find I do answer the same things over and over, which is completely normal. That's the way it's probably going to be because we're all kind of learning this new for the first time. And again, I will be on from 8.30 in the morning till 2.30 in the afternoon. If you have questions, just send it to me and I will answer it as quickly as I can. I'll answer them in the order that they show up. And if there's something I'm seeing over and over and over, I might just post the solution right on here. So please take a quick scan through these before you send me a question. It may be something that someone has already asked just five minutes previous. All right. Thank you very much again. That's how you ask for help. And uh, I hope things go smoothly. Good luck.